Once upon a time, in a small village, there lived a young boy named Cato. Cato was a bright and curious boy, always eager to learn and explore the world around him. However, he often found himself at odds with his grandfather, who lived with his family. Cato's grandfather, Jiro, was a wise and kind man, with a wealth of knowledge and experience. But to Cato, he seemed old-fashioned and strict. Jiro would often scold Cato for his mischief and tell him stories about the good old days, which Cato found boring. One day, while playing outside, Cato stumbled upon an old, frail woman struggling to carry her groceries. Without hesitation, Jiro appeared and helped the woman, carrying her bags and walking her home. Cato watched in amazement as his grandfather showed such kindness and respect to the elderly woman. As they walked home, Jiro told Cato about the importance of respecting elders. They have lived through so much and have so much wisdom to share, he said. We must show them kindness, patience, and respect. But Cato didn't understand. Why should I respect someone just because they're old, he asked. Jiro smiled and said, come with me. He took Cato to visit the elderly woman, Mrs. Tanaka, again. This time, Jiro asked her to share her story. Mrs. Tanaka told them about growing up during a war, losing loved ones, and struggling to survive. She shared her wisdom and experiences, and Cato listened with wide eyes. As they left, Cato felt a newfound respect for Mrs. Tanaka and his grandfather. He realized that elders have so much to offer, and their experiences and wisdom are invaluable. From that day on, Cato made a conscious effort to show respect to his grandfather and other elders in the village. He listened to their stories, helped them with chores, and showed kindness and patience. As Cato grew older, he became known throughout the village as a young boy who respected and cared for his elders. People would come to him for help, and he would eagerly assist, just like his grandfather had taught him. Years later, when Cato had children of his own, he passed on the lessons he learned from his grandfather. He taught them the importance of respecting elders and listening to their stories. And so, the cycle of respect and kindness continued. Thanks to Cato's grandfather, who had shown him the value of honoring those who came before us. Like and subscribe channel for more stories. And not forget to press bell icon.